If you are not familiar with focus stacking, let me give you a quick introduction. If you are using a macro lens or extension tubes, your depth of field will be very low if you get close to your object, even if you are using a high aperture. As you can see in this picture, I have used f9 on my Nikon D750 and a 60mm macro lens. The depth of field is only a few millimeters and the rest of the picture is blurred. Of course, you could manually focus on the other parts of the picture and stack them together, but you would slightly change your focal length, which might cause stitching problems. So the solution for this problem is to move your camera across the object. This way you do not change your focal length and stitching works without problems. Depending on your lens and object, you will need to move the camera a couple of times. This is very time consuming and not very precise or even repeatable if you do this manually. For this reason I have created a full automatic macro rail. So you don't have to move anything manually. On the right side you can see the finished picture. I have took 20 pictures with the same settings and the same distance between each other. You can then use Photoshop or other software tools to stack them together. On the bottom of the view macro you will find a standard thread like on your camera. This way you can easily install it on any tripod. On one side of the Pew Macro there are two sockets. One is for the stepper motor and the other one is for the reference switch. The stepper motor socket has four pins and the reference switch socket has three pins. This way you won't accidentally plug the wrong cable into it. On top of the rail you will find Arca Swiss compatible mount so you will be able to use your existing quick release plates. If you look inside you will notice the reference switch, which will be later important for the whole function. The other ends of the cables will be connected to the pew control. As mentioned before, each cable has a different pin amount, so you won't be able to connect them wrong. To trigger your camera, the pew control has a 2.5mm stereo audio socket. Depending on your camera, you will need a suitable cable. To communicate with your computer, a standard micro USB cable is used. So this is the Pew Moco Windows application. After you started it, you must choose your according COM port. If you only have connected your Pew control and no other device, you should only get one option. Otherwise you will need to check which COM port your Pew control is using. Since the stepper motor is used, the absolute position is unknown. For this reason, the reference switch is used. So at the beginning, you must make an automatic reference run. The rail will move until the switch is touched, then move a little bit back. So this is the main window for macro stacking. On the right side you have the manual control of the current position. If you accidentally reach the reference switch, you will get a notification and the rail will move a little bit back down. At 47 mm in this case, there's another end stop, but this time there's no switch, 
so the position is only calculated. If you reach this position, you will get the same warning and the stepper will move a little bit back into the other direction. To make a macro shot, you will need to set a start and end position. Simply move to your both positions and click on set start and set end on the left side. After you have selected your end position, the total distance between both positions will be displayed. Now you need to set how long the rail should stay after the movement, so your exposure does not get blurred due to the movement. If you have an exposure time of 0.5 seconds, just type this into the text field and set it on your camera. To choose how many pictures you want to make, you have two options. The first option is to set the picture amount directly. In this case, the moving distance between the pictures will be calculated automatically according to the total moving distance. The other option is to set the moving distance manually. In this case, the picture amount will be calculated automatically. If you change any of both values, the top two buttons on the manual control on the right side will update with the new moving distance. This feature enables you to check whether the moving distance might be too long or too short. If it is too long, you might not get everything sharp. If it is too short, you will get a huge picture amount and stacking with your software will take a long time. Since those values depend on your camera, lens and object, there is no general recommendation for optimum picture amount or moving distance. You just have to try it out. With the trigger camera button you can trigger your camera. This feature is helpful if your computer and camera are not close to each other, so you don't have to walk around each time. If you are using Lightroom or the software which comes with your camera, you can simply connect your camera with a USB cable to your computer and check directly the picture on a big screen. I will explain a complete workflow in an additional video later on. To be able to start the automatic program, you need to move at first to the start position. Simply click on the move to start button and wait until the button changes to green. Before the program starts, a pop-up with some important recommendations will be shown. Those are common mistakes which lead to errors if you make them. After you confirm, the automatic program will start. Once your shot is finished, you can repeat it again with the same settings or change everything to make a different shot. I will also add a preset option, so you will be able to save and load the settings each time you start the app. With this feature, you can repeat your shots with the same settings. It also makes setup much faster if you're using an existing preset. A quick way to move to the zero position is to press this button. In this case, the position will be reset to zero. In the future, the Windows application will get the same features as the Android app. So you will be able to make a 
lot of different options on the stepper configuration. This is only a quick preview. If you have any issues or want some new features, feel free to contact me anytime.